Hello friends, I'm Colonel Fayer and this is Transport Fever 2 back in the Metropolis and uh, it's a nice tidy looking piece of track isn't it? And that's a nice tidy looking train running down the nice tidy looking bit of track. This is not a train you've seen before. No it's not because uh, I've slapped it on there recently. Uh, the same goes for this nice tidy looking bit of track. I've already built it. It's, it's built. Yeah. What do you mean you want to see me building it? Uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well... All right, so we're looking at the old track. Yeah, the old track. It's functional, but it's uh, it's bumpy. And I've uh, I've got the, uh, the contours turned on here. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, I know. Me, I don't believe in contours. But no, I've got them, I've got them turned on. Uh, try and create a nice piece of flat landscape. That turned out to be quite expensive, though, so I... I stopped doing that quite quickly. Uh, yeah, no, see, no, I, I haven't reached the conclusion of like, yeah, that's a fast way to run through all your money. Now, the key to this piece of redevelopment is uh, is keep the existing money printer running for as long as possible, despite the fact that this entire setup is geared towards replacing the existing money printer with one that hopefully will be more print worthy of money still. I'm, I'm sure that makes sense. Anyway, a quick, uh, quick review of what we've built so far. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's crack on, shall we? Yeah, shall we? Shall we crack on? There we go. Double track it up because uh, we're all about the, the more trains for the for the train god now, and, uh, and that's solidly good. Now, here's the uh, the new Iron Forge station. And uh, it's going to sit down the bottom just to really facilitate this line more than anything else. Uh, but also because we're going to be running multiple lines in and around this particular town. Uh, so uh, so we'll get this set up. Now, I made a, I made a, you'll see it uh, in the second half of this video. Yeah, I know, I'm recording this after the other bit of the... Trust me, it makes total sense. It, you'll, you'll, anyway, I think I chose the wrong base station. To, uh, to set this up off because, uh, well, you'll see it later on, but the, the passengers uh, the passengers like to be sunk into the platform. I'll, I'll revise this and fix it later, but for now, I mean, just enjoy the fact that I'm, I'm plunking bits and pieces down. Oh, that's a nice bit of roof. That's, that's a delight. Uh, and there you go. I kind of, I've clocked at that point that passengers crossing over on the inside would be clipping through the roof, and you just kind of go, ah, well, we'll, we'll just... Maybe they won't notice unless I call it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe, 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 maybe not. But, uh, but regardless. Uh, so, I've set up the branch there to go over to the island, and, uh, well, you'll be seeing more of that a bit later on. Anyway, let's bulldoze some of this clobber that we've got here. Yeah, wait for the money. As you can see, the money ticks along uh, at a very happy rate, and, and this is where we want to be. Although, sadly, it means that this is where we've reached the stage where the challenge has largely left the building. Ah, well, I mean, you can't have it all. Well, you, could, you probably could have it all, but uh, no, the, the challenge has now largely left the building, and it just becomes uh, a case of don't over overextend yourself too badly there, Tiger, and you'll be fine. I'm trying to do a bit of colouring in there next to the road didn't, didn't take... So, uh, so didn't bother to go. Oh, that's a that's a nice bus station. Let's uh, let's slap that in there. Uh, that road's a bit wonky there. So, oh, that's nice. Oh, oh yes. Oh, you've thought that through. Oh, that's that's come up lovely. That has uh, a bit of smoothing gun around the outside would uh, wouldn't go amiss. But uh, no, it's okay. No, no, you carry on. No, this this is good. I approve of everything that you're doing so far, which is just as well because it's me. And, uh, and I did decide that this was what I was going to settle with. So uh, so now we go the uh, the other way. And uh, this double track section on the right hand side of the screen, as we look at it now, uh, is going to form the loop around the, the city. Probably. Don't know. Might change my mind. Might not. Uh, but we've still got the onwards, uh, the onwards track to contend with. What am I doing now other than just looking? Oh, you're waiting for the money to build up again. There we go. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because uh, there's a extensive amount of bulldozing going on. Yeah, the AI's moved straight back in. I'm going, oh, flipping AI. Uh, yeah, I'm going, to need to, I'm going to need to rethink this and make it better. Or just continually bulldoze everything until we, we get it where we like it. Which is sort of here-ish. See, that looks, that looks good and robust. Which is, which is what you want out of a, a station concourse, kind of a road uh, double lane behavior material. 
Oh, I, don't, look, I mean, where, where I want to get to is, uh, is to have the freedom to, to basically knock out the majority of the town, slowly let it rebuild while I relay all the roads in a way that, uh, that makes either, either perfect grids or other geometric shapes. Ah, oh, look, we're mucking about with a bridge. And you know, as much flexibility as this new bridge layout system menu behaviour has, I don't get on with it. No, it, it, it foxes me. Frankly, I preferred the old one where it would just go like, pillar, 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 pillar road collision. And you kind of go, oh, well, all right. And then you, because you, you'd work with that. But now it kind of goes, do you want pillars here or no pillars at all? And you kind of go, well, I want some pillars. It's got to be supported by something. Uh, that one, no, nope, not so much. No, that's all right. I'll, I'll muck about with some, uh, some some pillar modification type asset sort of behavior later on and, and that'll, that'll look great. Anyway, nice, flat, big, old level crossing on the other side. Oh, uh, yeah. When you're working with flat land, then level crossings suddenly become glorious. Uh, I mean, I like, a, I like a bridge, as you know, uh, but I also like a tunnel. And, uh, and sometimes I'm, I've decided to embrace level crossings once in a while. Because people do. I mean, they probably shouldn't. It's, that's going to snarl up traffic in town like you wouldn't believe. When I'm running the number of trains in and out of there that I intend to run trains in and indeed out of there, uh, then that level crossing is going to be snafu all the time. Uh, we'll worry about that later. I don't, not that that's going to help us particularly, but we'll worry about it later. Uh, right, bridging out now down towards the other end of the, uh, other end of the island that we're on here. And uh, what we can't do is knock out the old track. Not yet. I still need the magic money printer turned on. Uh, so this flyover bridge that you're looking at, that's gone eventually when I turn it all off. Uh, because uh, we'll hook it up. And that's the other end of the, the curve that goes around the hole. You, I mean, you see where I'm going with this. I don't really need to explain it. I mean, I could leave you with some smooth jazz in the background and you could work it out for yourself. But some of you don't like the smooth jazz. I know. I mean, you're, you're all about the uh, the tracks and beats techno approach that I tend to uh, tend to adopt. It's more trance than techno, uh, but uh, uh, but no, no. The smooth jazz leaves many of you cold. But, but personally, I think it's uh, it's ideal for a little bit of leisurely track building at a thousand miles an hour. I think that just works uh, works splendidly. That junction's a bit of a work in progress. It's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. The, the two ends of this line that I've put together still need work. Uh, but I decided, well, I could wait until I've got another couple of million saved up and fix those as well. Or I could just leave it for now and, uh, and get to those a bit later on. Uh, we're, see, we're at the slapping in signals stage. You know, you know it's going well when the signals are in place. It's, uh, it's demonstrating a level of confidence that I've got that this is going to actually work out. I think I just clocked that that station up near Picks Creek is going to need two platforms. It's good. We'll get it. That's that's gonna happen. It's gonna work. It's gonna it's gonna pay off. It'll it'll make it happen. We're putting bus bus routes in. Oh, super. I like this little terminal. Well, it's not even a little terminal. That's a big terminal. Well, whatever it is, I like it. Uh, it's gonna serve us very nicely indeed. Right. So we're now at a point where we're about to start switching trains over. Are we? Are we? Are we doing that now? I don't know. It's going so fast. I can't really make it out. Uh, oh no. Here we go. We're, we're double tracking up this station. Well, that's that's a good move, yeah. Because you're going to have trains going in both directions, and obviously I will be, uh, I'll be ramping up the number of trains that we're operating, and uh, and that'll, you know, that'll that'll make money like there's no tomorrow. So yes, this new line, the power line, I've uh, I've dubbed it, uh, is working out very nicely. It's also printing money like there's no tomorrow, which is ideal because it means that I can now work on things that are uh, slightly more ambitious. Not that I lacked ambition beforehand, you understand. It's, it's more about, uh, well, I can now be slightly more flagrant with my, uh, uh, with my ability to just, just destroy stuff willy-nilly, ad hoc, uh, ergo, kumquat. Um, and, uh, and therefore I will do. Uh, I'm go I'll, I'll zoom out in a second. I'm just rather enjoying, I'm, I'm waiting for the camera that we've got here to, uh, to break as we go through some landscape. But hopefully you can make out already that this is relatively flat, which is quite nice. Now, the uh, the far end up at Picks Creek, haven't finished that yet. Uh, and so it's still a, a bumpy pain in the backside, like you wouldn't believe. And that's 
that's not a good thing. Uh, but as we come in here towards Fanta City, we've got our we've got our nice little station. It's not without its problems. Uh, if we uh, if we zoom in, you'll see that quite a lot of these passengers are immersed in Tarmacadden, and uh, that's it's not what you want. Uh, similarly, I've got this this lovely roof going on here, but it means that people have to walk through bits of roof. So from the outside it looks great. On the inside, maybe, maybe not so much. Uh, but are we bothered? Yes, a little bit. We are a little bit bothered. Uh, but it is making money like there's no tomorrow. I'm very pleased with the uh, the new Iron Forge lower setup. Um, that's that's come out quite nicely. So let's uh, let's just take it in. It goes all the way out from here, all the way along here, all the way down here, all the way down there. Okay, right. That's a line complete. A little bit more refinement is required, but uh, but fundamentally that one is is done and dusted. So where are we going to out of Fanta City? Well, I'm very pleased that you asked, or rather, I'm aware that you asked, and therefore I'm going to tell you. Uh, first off, we need to. Well, it's not necessarily first off in the sense that I'm going to do it first. I've got something else in mind. Um, is we're going to swing out uh, around the top side here. Now this is going to be climbing all the way, so exactly how this pans out, not sure. Uh, and we'll take on the, the station that currently exists just outside Moorpork. Now, I'd quite like to, in each city, do maybe a, just a, a circular line uh, to take in all of the different suburbs. Not sure. I, I might do a, a little C-shaped end-to-end job. So do like Eternia through Moorpork uh, around the outside. Maybe stop here in Ankh. Maybe, maybe not. Don't know. Uh, the goal, of course, is just maximum traffic. Uh, is, is what we're aiming for. Maximum rail traffic uh, is is the goal. Um, but I'd quite like to run a service that originates in Fanta City and then runs all the way around, sorting out this line as we go before heading into Night City, where that will probably become the major interchange, and then we'll run another route that runs through Night City out to Zerus and Eye of Horus and Gallifrey and so on. Uh, and then you've got the incoming line that comes from here. And you'll see how the the nesting of these things together means that, yes, certainly there will be quite a bit of cannibalization going on, but hopefully not so much as they stop working. Yeah, it's an ambitious goal. We don't know how that's going to turn out. Anyway, today's adventure is a slightly more straightforward one. As you can see, since I've been talking, we've made 13 million quid. Um, is we're going to run from Fantasy City round onto the Peninsular Island, and, uh, and stop off somewhere on this middle line here. You'd go, oh, surely now's the time to reinforce things that already work. And you go, no, 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 no. We'll take the money, but we'll, uh, we'll start the expansion. So I'm going to pause it on up while I've got 12 million in the bank and think about where am I going to, where am I going to stick this first station then? Oh, I'm glad you asked because I haven't decided. Uh, right, let's have a quick look at the lay of the land. We have got a gradual increase in elevation, uh, a regular large increase in elevation all along the way. Yeah, this lump here might be suitable. Uh, you've got a lower lump there that might also be suitable. I think we probably will go for a very simple one station and then uh, and a short kind of along the main strip of road here, uh, a, a commuter bus service. Yes, Port Megan's isn't going to be that vibrant in terms of the amount of services using it. I would probably like to connect it up over there, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely going to connect it up over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't really have any ideas. Uh, let's get this slapped in, and then we'll see how things befall us as we continue. Uh, so let's uh, let's get a straightforward, regular two platform high speed yes with the electrification uh and just bang this in here actually that's working out quite nicely uh bang this in about here just no 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 no, no. there you go that's it now pull it on in towards the road oh look at all of that lovely lovely catchment that we've got going on there uh we'll see this as a temporary uh, a temporary station set up for now just to prove out the demand for uh, for passenger services and then later on, we'll do a bit of a redecorate. My aim is going to be redecorate on an occasion as we go. Uh, right, what have we got? We've got all kinds of business going on here. That's nice. Uh, but frankly, all I want is a station entrance at the moment, which is going to be hidden from me. There you go. Just that. 
There you go. One station entrance sticking on there. Yeah, yeah. And Kyo, right, and then stick another one next to it just for, you know, for safety. Just just for safety's sake. All of this uh, extra gubbins that I've got going on, it all lives in the, uh, in the official collection for this series. And uh, you can find that on the old Steam Workshop. There was a link in the previous episode. If you're lucky, I'll provide the link again in the description of this episode. But I don't know how long your luck's going to hold out, friend. So uh, you might you might end up going to have to check the last one if you want to get all of these uh, many varied and, and wizardry-oriented mods. There you go. So that's, that's quite pleasing. It's not as pleasing as if you were to go down there a bit. Yeah, okay. See, that's more pleasing. And then this needs to connect to that. Yeah, it really does. So get rid of this and uh, swing in a bit of road here. Uh, really? Yeah, no, it's, uh, no, it looks awful. Oh, okay. You don't want to delete all of that. No, no, I probably don't. Instead, let's just wiggle you along there. There you go. That's a nice wiggle. And then, uh, and then hook that up on there somewhere. Yeah, splendid. All of this can be improved. Will it? I don't know. But uh, it can be improved and therefore might do. Good. Glad we had this conversation. Uh, let's stroll on, shall we? We'll go with the old Vignol. Vignol. Oh, yeah. He's French. Oh, so many things are. Uh, and then uh, and then trot on and see see where it gets us. Uh, if it gets us in a truck. Well, so far, it's all going brilliantly. Two million quid. Yeah, but that's largely down to the number of buildings that I'm going to wreck. You're just going to do it. You know what? Normally, I'd uh, I'd check back and see how awful it was, but this time, just do it. Well, we knew it was going to be awful uh, in terms of of road overlaying, uh, so okay, we'll fix it. Don't you fret, my little petal. Uh, uh, but uh, no, it's uh, it's not come out too badly overall. Uh, I quite like that it's indented into the ground a smidge because that means that we can do all kinds of, uh, of bridges and, uh, and bank reinforcement and retaining walls and all of that kind of caper, uh, which is well, it's, it's great. It's great fun for all the family. Um, I yeah, I no, I'm going to fix that before the end of the episode. All right, I'm not leaving it till later. It's too horrendous for words. So, uh, so now that I've done that, we're going to uh, we'll fling it around here a bit and, uh, and up there and connect onto this. All right. Yep. Easy as pie. Uh, also as good looking as pie. So, uh, so that's, that's super. Yeah. Oh, we, re we really are in bosh it in mode, aren't we? Oh, we certainly are. Uh, that's, see, I mean, you know, this is why we saved up all the money in the first place. I mean, I've rinsed six million quid already on this caper. And, uh, and I suspect there's probably another, ooh, let's say two, uh, to be spent before we're done here. There you go, it's a bit of bridge. In fact, let's go all the way. No, 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 no. Let's change the approach. Because if I can do this on one big swoop, it will look nicer than if I try and uh, course correct along the way. Now, of course, course correcting along the way is, uh, is how your Victorians did all this business. Um... But there you go. So you've got a nice steady curve all the way around there. You're just going to want to you're going to want to turn the bridge into something that is a little bit more swift. Oh no! Yeah, I know. I don't. I am not getting on with this bridge menu at all. Uh, oh, go on. What's that? Well, it's just cheeky red all the way around. You know what? I, I don't hate that. Well, continue not hating it because we've got it. Uh, that's a that's a thing that's happened, and of course because I'm drawing. Oh no! Yeah, I know. I see it. I see it. Yeah, that's right. I've connected the other end up to the wrong side of the track. I think, um, and because we're doing it on one swoop, then in theory, in theory, the uh, the elevation should remain at a constant flux. Oh uh, yeah, rather than uh, rather than wiggling hither and yon, it should uh, it should stay moderately constant. Which will lead it to being uh, quite pleasing. There we go. We'll just branch in about there, and that's good. Then we've got our final our final platform edge. I am going to rebuild that station. All of the wonk in that station. I'm going to I'm going to, I'm going to deal with it. But it's the kind of thing that takes. If you want to do a decent job on it, and I do, I do want to do a decent job on it. It's the kind of thing that takes a couple of hours 
to uh, to get it right which is why i'm you know why i'm toying with uh, a little bit of a little bit of post commentary speed run business as well as all of this oh uh, so, uh, uh, that's not bad not 100% sold on it. No, neither am I. But uh, it's okay. It's it's okay. I it's, I don't hate it. And is that is that your measurement of things these days? Is it? Yeah, yeah. I only get rid of it if I hate it. If I don't hate it, then we'll we'll keep hold of it. Yeah, yeah. That's no, that's what we'll do. Right. Okay. So let's have a look at the crisis of uh, of road based infrastructure that we've got going on here. I mean, this is this is not good. No. How much have I got left in the bank? A million and a half. Oh, I really have hit this like a fist of an angry god, haven't I? Um, okay. Uh, we might have to suck up a little bit of ugly bridge here and there. I don't think we're going to be able to do all of it. We'll do the worst offender and uh, and then save the rest as a special treat later. I mean, I could do it now, but it just means rolling the game forward until I've got the cash built up and then dealing with it. And then rolling the game forward and, and dealing with it and, and all of that kind of business. None of which you particularly need to see. None of it's going to make you feel more spiritually enlightened. So, you know, we'll just deal with it. But that's, you know, the route's done. That was easy. Yeah. Yeah, it was. But I'm not I'm not prepared to uncork the hounds yet. Uh, I want to at least fix probably this one. Because <laughs> it's dreadful. Uh, and it doesn't look like it's going to be too severe a fix either. Get rid of that car. You see? I mean, I reckon we can get under there without it being a, a total mission. Good luck. Thank you. We're all counting on you, aren't you just? There you go. See, that's that's almost worked. Uh, I'm not going to put it there, but I just want to see if it will. It won't. Okay, well, all right. Let's uh, let's try it again, but better. Uh, turn the straight straight line thing on, because I think a straight line up there would be uh, would be delicious. Delicious it may be, but working it is not. What's the problem? You're, con you're colliding at the top end, I think. I'm not, though. It'll get under there. That'll That's a thing that'll work. Mm, yeah, maybe. You could try relaying the track. No, 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 no. If I relay the track, uh, we're going to end up in a, uh, a track bumpy situation. Could just not bother doing it. Now you're thinking. Well, that's, that's hardly a solution. Oh, yeah, it solved the problem. And therefore, it is a solution. Look it up in the dictionary. We need one connection here. That's all. Just one. We don't need the two. And therefore, I'm thinking that it, you might get it cleaner coming from mid-road mid here down to mid-road there than, uh, than the two that were laid either side of it. I may be wrong. We will find out presently. Hold on. Go on. Go on. Go on. No. Ow. Oh. Well, I, I I don't know what to tell you other than it's not gonna it's not gonna allow it. All right, okay. Now, if I were to take out this lot, this is why I want the money. You see, because then I can just kind of go, yeah, 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 yeah. Take out all of that lot, then you've got enough room to definitely make this work. Definitely, one hundred percent, it's going to work. As long as you don't mind too much slope, and as long as you don't mind this egregious downhill that you've got at the start. Yeah, no. Okay, all right, all right. We're, we're not defeated, not yet. It will work. It won't. All right, go to there. Yeah. But look, it doesn't matter about taking out a building. I mean, you've been you've you've been pretty casual with taking out buildings so far. Why should uh, why should you change that now? See, because if I go for a full downhill like that, right, we might be able to get under this first bit. Well, what are you colliding with? I think you're uh, you're too uh, you're too high up. You're not getting underneath the bridge. It's not even a bridge at the moment. No, but it would be afterwards. Interesting. Okay. Well, how are you going to cope with that? You can't go over it. That'll just look frankly ridiculous. Uh, you do need a crossing there of some description. Uh, connecting both sides of the town is uh, yes, yes, you know, it's, uh, it's important. Yes. And you've got a connection here. Yeah, but you want to destroy that as well, because that's ugly. No, we've got another one up here. And that one. Yeah. None of them are safe. They're all in peril. 
So maybe what you want is to relay this main strip. Basically bulldoze the entire main road and relay. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll totally fix everything, that will. And also, you've got some bump in here. Oh, dear. Yeah, but that's because you've laid rail over road rather than road over rail, which you know already you're not allowed to do that. Pro tip there, people. If you want your track to stay flat, put the road over the rail. Don't put the rail over the road. We do, I mean, this is fundamental stuff. We covered this at least 200 videos ago. All right, so uh, go watch the last 200 videos. You'll find it in there somewhere. Uh, right, let's... Mm, ah, mm, how are we going to cope with this? I don't think we're going to be able to avoid relaying the track. Put the... Put a... Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. I'll put in a road, and then we'll build a bridge over the top of it, and then we'll fight the track to try and get the track to be smooth enough that we're not unhappy. All right, so something along these lines? Something like that would probably do the trick. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can have that. Okay, right. And I think the simplest way to go is actually going to be to adjust the angle of your downward spiral here, knock out these two bits of track here, and then swerve downhill ever so slightly, because that will give you a bit more clearance. Well, okay. I mean, it, this isn't the nicest hill you've ever made, but... What was that? Do you want to put that in English? No, I think people got the general meaning. I, I don't think it needs spelling out any more distinctly than that. Uh, right, okay, go to tracks. Yeah. All right, now pump up the volume until it's happy. Could we get over there? No. Uh, keep it on the flat. Yes. Right. So that can be done. Yes. And it doesn't look too completely dreadful. You're just going to need to relay quite a lot of the tracks that you did to start with. The good news is, of course, that I've already spent the major expense involved in such an operation. It doesn't want to do it there. Well, it should. Try here. There you go. That's better. Now, two pillars rather than three would be nice. Two pillars rather than 19 would be... Uh, just Go on, one less pillar. One, one fewer. One fewer pillar. One fewer pillar. Thank you. Right, it's because it's trying to be clever. And, uh, well, I can't say I blame it. I mean, we all like being clever, at least once in a while. Um, give me that one. Okay, I reckon this will work without bridge supports. Oh, is that what you reckon, is it? Yeah. All right, go on then, prove it. Yes. Now look, now eyeball it. Oh, dear. Yeah, yeah, oh, dear. Yeah, that's not, that's not quite right. All right, if we give it a little bit more run time... Then we might be able to make that corner a little bit less horrible. Yeah, because as it stood, it was horrible. Yes, it was. Okay, how about now? Now it's lovely. Okay, good. We have love. We have achieved lovely, and that's uh, that's all we really want out of life. Uh, so let's uh, let's bung you in alongside there. All right, and then uh, more lovely, please. Do 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 do. In you go. Right. Still feeling lovely? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only real downside is that this bit is on the flat. Yes. Which means that we're going to have a slightly steeper downhill. Yes. But that's okay, because we've got plenty of space that we're running in. We are going to ride this train in a moment, just so you know. Just, just, so, you're, just so you're on board. Uh, we're going to ride it, and we'll, we'll judge between us whether or not it's lovely. And, uh, and I'll be right because I'll say, yes, it is. And also, I've now got this elevated section, which I'll tell you, I don't hate it. No, 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 no I, I, I'm not hating that either. That looks, that looks moderate to good. Okay. Yeah. All right, are we out of money? Pretty much. Okay, well, unpause the game then. You haven't destroyed anything, so uh, you can unpause the game and everything will be groovy. Uh, and then our uh, our big old cheese trains can uh, can deliver some cheese money, which is good. I'm all about the cheese money, you know. All right. So the only real weakness in terms of making this smooth is that we've got a flat section there, which arguably I don't need. I could probably. There's no one boot undo button, dude. All right. Go on. What could you probably? 
I could probably bulldoze that now, bulldoze a little bit further up this way, and uh, and then connect that smoothly over the top of the road. Go on, Em. What's your what's your guesstimate on whether that will work or not? Oh, slim. Yeah. Should we leave it alone? Yeah, maybe revisit it later. Maybe not. But uh, but yeah, we'll leave that as slim. I don't really like this suspension number. A single suspension tower doesn't make sense to me. You you want at least two. Hey ho! Right. So we now need to give this route a, a name of some description. Denzel. Uh, maybe. Uh, right. There's Migo. Yes. Uh, and that's going out to here. To fantasy and obviously because i put one-way signals all along it already it's uh it's hooked that up lovely uh this will be the island line yeah i know it's it's not a, a, the most gripping piece of creativity you've ever come across but it, it'll do right now where are you sending these trains from well there is nowhere i can send them from at the moment because this isn't connected to anything this is that uh, it is operating entirely in isolation you know, you probably want to think about that in the future. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, sticking a sticking a depot on here is actually going to be more more difficult than I've given it credit. Uh, hold on, no, 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 no. Actually, we could make a feature out of it. Could we? Yeah, yeah. Watch. I'm watching. Ah, here we go. Look, we send that up there. Uh, those two aren't quite can't aren't quite flat with each other yet. So we keep coming across here because this road is perfectly flat along with all the tracks that are running over the road which is why i've got a a set of level crossings here that are actually you know respectable to look at okay so you've run that to there yeah all right in fact well i don't want to I, I could do it running it back just a smidge i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to bulldoze this entire station uh, or at least I'm going to have to replace every element of it. Right, if you... Can you... Will you? Will you go around there? No, son, too much curvature. But that's a, that's a drag. Because here we're going to have a different problem, which is it's not on the total flatness, and therefore we're going to have drama. How much drama? Oh, a really modest amount. A really... By which I mean you get sleepers clipping through your rails, which... You only really notice it if you're up close, but we do a, a, a modest amount of up-close work here on the Colonel Failure video channel, uh, and therefore it's worth avoiding such things. But if we were to now run a track from here over to there, right, and we don't, I, might, I might change my play on this, but this is a pure bit of, uh-oh, what happened there? So it doesn't look too destructive. Uh, and then double slip everything along the way, then we can have one depot to rule all of this lot that comes off lane three here. Okay. Yeah, and, and if I plant some, uh, uh, you know, some scenic vehicles on there a bit later, turn this into a proper, you know, freight depot, not freight, just a depot. Just a, you know, a good depot for depot-based activities, uh, then we can we can build out and it'll it'll be super brilliant okay so you know scenery and that stuff oh yeah yeah scenery all that all that business all that business yes okay well the i mean i'll tell you if you're just getting started doing a bit of detailing right and you want to and you want to go beyond that which you've you've done by default which is slung down a couple of trees uh i mean there's nothing wrong with slinging down a couple of trees and calling it high detailing. A lot of people have done it for years and got away with it. Uh, no, 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 no. The uh, excess of parallel tracks, that's stage two of high detailing. Because once you've got a whole bunch of parallel tracks, of which 80% uh, of them don't do anything, you can you can probably describe yourself as a high detailer at that point. If you then get out a texture brush and go, oh, I'll paint this up like it's dirty, then you kind of go, ah, oh, masterclass. Oh, you're totally, you're totally 100% now. Uh, you're ready to do things that the uh, Transport FEMA Facebook page will promote. Yeah, yeah, just be sure to stick a little bit of Photoshop filtering on your screenshot when you're done and you're golden. Uh, right, have you finished? Was that a rant? No, 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 merely an observation, my friend. Uh, yeah, I see. Now, where are you going to 
Where are you going to bang this? I'm probably going to bang it in here. Yeah, I know you were thinking I was going to bang it in there, but no, I might bang it in here. I mean, it'll certainly do the job. Right, and then uh, you, you sell that it's in there a little bit harder by uh, by just running another bit of track that doesn't do anything down there. See? Ah, perfection. Yeah. You've got all this jagged business. That looks horrible. Oh, yeah, I've, not, I've done it badly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you see, you're going to need a retaining wall in there. Oh, that uses mods, and that means you're even more of a detailing pro. Aren't I just... Oh, no, no, leave those where they are. I mean, if you were to use the uh, no buffers by default mod and change those up for something else, grab a grab a quick shot with the uh, with the old birds flying over the top. Oh, oh, dearie me! Oh, it's, I mean, it's almost it's almost too scenic. It's the most scenic thing you've ever seen in your life. Anyway, I'll shut up and just buy a train, shall I? Uh, right, train. Yeah. Multiple units. Uh, what have we got in the electrics at the moment? We've got a 420 watts, which I'm pretty sure is what I'm running on the uh, on the power line. Uh, I think I've taken out most of my diesels from there. Uh, we've got the 309. Yes, it's nice and quick. It is nice and quick. Uh, but, you know, we should stick with diesels. Well, diesels are still a thing we can stick with. Yeah. Let's use the 110. All right. Stick a little what? What do you got there? You got a two car. No, it's got a three car. Six million. I've got six million. It's like it was meant to be. Slap that on there. Buy it one of those. Slap it onto the island line. There you go. Right, we're away. Let's ride this monkey with our special monkey harness. Because uh, that will make everything a delight. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Train. Yep. Looks exactly the same as all the others. I know it does. That's what makes it brilliant. It's what people get very excited about. You kind of go, oh, it looks like all the others, but it's completely different. You go, ah, oh, good, good. Yeah. Anyway, here we go. We're aboard. Yeah. Now, you want to stick some signals, uh, a little bit of trackside clutter. Obviously, get the dirty paintbrush out and make it all dirty. That's, that's vital. And then, uh, and then the details will be both rich and fulfilling at the same time. It's a VW, oh, the yellow car. Yeah, no returns. Uh, and uh, swing it on in the station that nobody wants to use it. No, of course they don't. It's only just turned up. They're, they're unaware of its existence at this point. Yeah. All of this all of this station stuff is absolutely fabulous. I mean, uh, the, the level of work that's gone into this is ace. And there's probably a very good reason why the passengers are all stood on the wrong level. And that's possibly because of the nature of the station I placed initially, uh, instead of using the Network Southeast station by default, which I suspect sets everything at a different height. Yeah, well, look, I'll, re I'll fix it. I'll, I'll, I'll get it sorted out. We are, we are going to try for, you know, not quite as horrifically average as my, uh, as my normal builds. Train? Yeah, 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 very good. Yeah, I know, it's, uh, I'm quite pleased with it. The, the level of activity is already okay. Uh, obviously, we're hoping for a little more than that over time, but we'll get to a bit more than that over time. Uh, for those of you, incidentally, worried about us sticking in 1980, we're not going to stick in 1980 for very long. A couple more episodes, and I will jump forward by maybe five, maybe ten years. I have yet to decide which. And then we'll then we'll sit in that year for a bit. It's purely so that I don't have a barrage of flipping new trains rocking up all the ruddy time. Uh, I want to be able to sit in an era for a bit, even though it is kind of a sub era, you know, in a five ten year sense. Right, we're in the. Uh, does this feel like flat or does it feel like roller coaster? That'll be the flat bit of bridge. Yep. Which lends itself towards the feeling of roller coaster a smidge. This will feel like an off road section. Road rail over road. That's why you don't do it. I know. I know. We've already told the boys and girls about that and they were all on board with it, nodding sagely because they watched the last 200 videos. And here we come, and there's a few people waiting, which isn't so bad at all. Nope, that'll do. Right, up to Port Mego. Now, obviously, Port Mego is going to need a, a name that uh, 
marries Miggins and Peninsula together. Peninsula Miggins. The Miggins Peninsula. Um, Pemiggins. Uh, Miginsula. That's where you're going. Migin Port Miginsula. Ooh, swanky. Uh, anyway, yes. <laughs> it's probably... In fact, I'm, I'm dubbing it that now. Uh, right, good. Uh, this is... Uh, wait for it. Miginsula. Right. Yeah. Let's not muck about. Let's get that name correctly. Right, that's going to wrap it up for today. Oh, I know you always want more. I mean, I'm, I mean, I could give you more, but I'm, you don't, you don't need it. You've, you've had enough for now. Uh, before you arrive next time around, I'll put in the uh, the uh, the commuter line here, and I will do a square. I think we'll go hither, thither, yon, and back again. All right, so something like a square around there, maybe just adjust this station to put a little terminal entrance at the end. It's probably a smart move. Uh, and that way we can have the bus stop directly opposite and it'll work out golden. It will work out golden. I've been Colonel Failure. Subscribe to this series so that you can miss out on the bits that I've recorded while you weren't watching and, uh, and I'll catch up with you very soon. Next time, pretty sure, Fantasy City up uh, around the outside here. You could take it somewhere else. No, no, no. No, let's keep going and uh, well, let's ram the the original Iron Forge station, which has moved. Obviously, uh, let's ram that as many as full of trains as we can as we can possibly get. I mean, there's three in there now. Look, we got one leaving, one arriving, and another one arriving, and a one that's arrived. That I make that three, even though you just described four things. Golden. Catch you later. Cheerio.